One of the first steps in creating a 3D surface model in AutoCAD is to define the paths and profiles for the surfaces. In this model, I'll go ahead and restore a layer state that shows only the path and profile layers. In here you can see a combination of splines, both open and closed splines, as well as circles, and if we look down here you'll see that there are some polylines as well. So all these different types of objects can be used to create paths and profiles. All the orange colored objects in this drawing are profiles and all the bluish colored objects are paths. One of the key tools for creating and editing paths and profiles is the 3D gizmo. The 3D gizmo appears when you select an object. By default it will display at the center of the selection set but as you pass your cursor over the object, the gizmo will move to that grip. What we're looking at right here is the move gizmo. This enables me to move the specified point and even constrain it to a specific axis or plane. As I pass the cursor over the gizmo, you can see that the axes or planes turn yellow, indicating that if I click right there, it's going to constrain the movement for that point. So for example, if I don't constrain the movement. If I just pick a grip and start pulling on it, it may be hard to tell from a particular viewpoint, but if you start rotating that model, you'll see, in this case, I have taken that spline and I've actually moved it out of the plane. So that's not what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and undo that, and just to take a look, we'll rotate it so you can see the original spline was planar. Now what I'll do is select that spline again, and this time using the move gizmo, I'll constrain the movement of that point to the x-axis. So simply passing the cursor over that axis, it turns yellow, and now no matter where I drag my cursor, that point is constrained to that axis. And the same idea applies for planes. For example, if it's okay for that point to move anywhere in the x-z plane, then I can go ahead and highlight that plane, and now I have the flexibility to move anywhere in X or Z. These constraints are also available on the right-click menu, so if you have a hard time selecting exactly the axis or the plane that you want on the gizmo, which can be difficult depending on the viewpoint that you're on, you can also just right-click on the gizmo, and then go to Set Constraint and select the axis or plane. But when possible, I like to just do it right on the gizmo, because then I don't have to think too hard about what's X, Y, or Z. So that's a quick intro to the move gizmo. Let's talk about the rotate gizmo. To create this circle, for example, I could draw the circle just using my typical AutoCAD circle tool, and by default it draws on the X, Y plane. Using the rotate gizmo, I can very easily rotate that, and here you see by default it's displaying the move gizmo, but I can right click and then choose rotate, and now it displays the rotate gizmo. The same idea applies where you can pass the cursor over the different axes, or orbits in this case, select the one that you want, the orbit of rotation that you want, and then now you can either enter a value or pick a point to rotate that selected object. So just that quickly, without even launching a command, I'm able to take that circle and rotate it to the orientation that I want. That is a look at the rotate gizmo. Let's take a look now at the scale gizmo. If you right click again on either the move or rotate gizmo, you'll see that you have the option for scale. So there are three different gizmos, move, rotate, and scale. If you select the scale gizmo, you have a slightly different icon, and you can scale the object in along an axis, one of the planes, or you can scale the whole thing, similar to what we had with move, you can scale the whole thing in the X, Y, and Z direction. On the home ribbon tab, you can specify which gizmo is displayed when you select an object, and you can also indicate that no gizmo should be displayed. So for example, now if I select one of those objects, the gizmo is not displayed as I pass the cursor over.